So finally, um, I had the time to record and um, yeah, all the necessary steps to produce the video that I'm gonna show you today. The reason that I wanted to have a special high device which uh, allows me to show the waveform uh, of an audio signal is that I do a lot of uh, audio restoration so I try to preserve all recordings and I wanted to have a device which is similar like Auto City, which allows me to show the waveform but I didn't want to have a PC uh, connected to my audio system I wanted to have a device which is already in my HiFi stack so I was searching for a, yeah, a component which I can buy but I couldn't find it, so I was searching uh, and browsing through the, through the web and I found there was, there was a time where yeah, the manufacturers made pretty cool devices but none of, none of these devices are, are available today or they're very expensive and they're pretty old so I wanted to have modern technology so finally I saw this Pioneer device, uh, this SD1100 and I decided I want to build my own Hi-Fi device which I, I planned to build in for, for this place and I found a manufacturer who builds this, this electronic parts of the display and the electronics and I decided then yeah, to buy some of these uh, displays and I needed a, a case so uh, to build in all the electronics so I, I bought a used Technic tape recorder and I yeah opened then this recorder removed all the all the components that I didn't use and I mounted the, the displays with electronics uh, connected through a uh, flat flat uh, cable uh, together so I was able to place the, the display in, inside of the, of the device. I bought an, as, a, as well a power supply to be able to plow four of the displays together and then finally you see the construction here now of the, of the, of the display and the, the in, inner parts of the, of the component. Um, yeah it was, it was just a matter of um, um, think how I can uh, mount the, the displays on the front and make it possible that they are really uh, flat on, on the front so there's no difference between the front panel I bought then or designed a special aluminium front panel and made it uh, from a special manufacturer and I had to, to make the case of the, the recorder a little bit smaller so I cut it, cut it uh, which was too much uh, from, from the side, from the cover, uh, to be able to, yeah, to make the device a little bit uh, smaller than, than it was in the beginning. So now you see on the, on the left one is the first test that I did with, uh, with the device. So I uh, powered on the device, I connected it through the audio cable, and I made the first test with, a, uh, with the uh, wave signals. The cool is that with these uh, displays you can program them uh, based on a PC software and you can uh, use, use the, uh, the touch display to, to change the, the settings. And I did some, uh, I think about 20 presets which I programmed identical for each of the, each of the device. And yeah, so it's possible now to, to change when I want on the fly uh, what kind of information that I would like to show. Uh, it's pretty easy uh, for, the, for the usage and operation and uh, I really like the device for my everyday work with a high fee component. You see here now that the screenshots from the, from the software which comes with the, with the device when you buy them and you can uh, do the different kind of um, settings and uh, adjustments that, yeah, that, that are, are possible to, to do and to store into the device. So this is the front view of the HiFi device. You see there is a uh, four displays are built in, and you see here the power the power button. When I switch it on, the uh, I exchange the, the original all the interiors of the Technic tape recorder, and a uh, power supply is is in here. Then you see here the 
the four displays they are built here on, on the front so I made a metal a metal uh, cons construction to, to screw the, the four uh, displays on it and then you see this through these wires uh, the electronics is is in here I placed it um, yeah with, with these with these four uh, screws um, it, it's it's bolted down to the to the ground and then you see here on the back there's the the four USB devices they go outside so here on the back I mounted the, the USB host uh, connector and then you see here the, I used the existing uh, connections uh, to put in the signal the audio signal I used um, yeah I used the devices that uh, were already mounted in because it was a tape recorder and so it's it's pretty pretty easy uh, I tried to um, yeah, use as much uh, from the construction base that, that I had. Um, uh, yeah, so you can you can control the the, the displays. Um, it's a it's touch touch based um, user interface, so you can toggle through the pre-programmed settings that uh, that are in uh, programmed on on each display, and you have the possibility to. Um, to adjust this uh, on a PC, PC-based software, or you can uh, you can control it on the display itself. So there's some uh, let's switch it in. There's some presets, uh, some view modes, view options, and in particular, you you can change that that here on other touch as well. So I try to minimize uh, user interfaces as much as possible. So because everything is touch-based, uh, it's pretty easy to to control the device. Um, so I usually use um, here you know, this oscilloscope. Then I use uh, here more the, the base, the base frequencies, and here more the higher frequencies. So you have here the full uh, spectrograph, and then you see here the low frequencies. And so this is just uh, usually the setting that I use. So this is the low frequencies from zero to two point, yeah, about three. 3 kilo and then from 3 kilo up to 20 kilohertz and then here I, I use the, the wave the waveform which is something which I uh, usually use to control the, the audio signal so on the right you see the red signal and on the left is the white signal uh, so it's pretty easy to, to control how, how the signals are going on. <laughs> 